and dear students now you having lesson on very interesting topic phototrophic metabolism uh, first uh, just read out this slide and then listen my explanations this way more helpful to understand easily in the rest of the each slide follow the same way now let's go into the class first phototrophic metabolism explanation what is phototrophic metabolism use sunlight for energy source uh, for the uh, for plant entire growth this is the phototrophic metabolism uh, theme what happened in the phototrophic metabolism proton gradient what happened proton gradient mean outside water h2o broken by proton energy pulled into the inside and speed of electron transport chain within the cell because of electron transport chain energy produced mean atp synthesized to the plants first steps this is the photo reaction atp synthesis is the main theme second one is after photo reaction calvin cycle happened calvin cycle mean without light energy uh, carry the food throughout the plants this is the calvin cycle in this so slides phototrophic metabolism each dependent conversion of solar to cellular energy is the photosynthesis photosynthesis process use pigments called chlorophyll and absorb light energy from from sun release electron in higher level which electron passed through electron transport chain generates energy by proton gradient and concomitant atp synthesis in this next slide uh, which electron ultimately returns to the chlorophyll this cyclic reaction fulfill the energy needs uh, of the cell for cell growth calvin cycle of carbon dioxide fixation must be activated and the electron transfer cofactor nadp to uh, to form nadph this is the second large step which needs large amount for the operation of the cycle thus phototrophic replace electron that are consumed during biosynthetic reaction in this fourth slide two broad groups uh, involving uh, for uh, for different types uh high in higher plants and eukaryotic and algae have one type and cyanobacteria have the other broad groups cyanobacteria uh, so, uh, contain pigment chlorophyll use water as their electron source in reaction that generate uh, oxygen which produce oxygen to begin to allow development of higher forms in this next is the slide oxygen evolving photosynthesis require two separate light absorbing system for rise the energy of the electron from water and transfer nadp two distinct photo reaction centers what are two distinct photo reaction centers one is oxygen generating reaction second one is cyclic process for energy generation cyanobacteria in brief details cyanobacteria have the both reaction center chlorophylla and uh, their photosynthetic apparatus contain other light absorbing pigment which serve antenna to capture light energy as uh, antenna is a chlorophylla transfer into reaction centers uh, and phycoplysome which phycoplysome is the protein pigment that absorbs short and high wavelength transmit oxygen evolving center almost all cyanobacteria contain photosynthetic apparatus called thylakoids above the thylakoids outer area have the phycoplysome bacteriochlorophyll contain single type of reaction center but uh, cyanobacteria have the two type of both uh, centers but bacteriochlorophyll have the single type of reaction center because it did, did not uh, evolve oxygen Uh, light and uh, la long center low energy wavelength requires electron donor other than water do not release oxygen example green bacteria purple sulfur bacteria electron donor 
uh, instead of water uh, which use the electron donor sulfur sulfide thiosulfide hydrogen a uh, gas but purple non sulfur bacteria use electron from use electron from hydrogen or organic substrate and uh, this is the anaerobic condition happened later this is the later photosystem one of higher plants purple bacteria have the photosystem tone which provide evolutionary trial thank you students keep watching